A Dyson sphere is a theoretical megastructure designed to capture a star's energy output. The idea was popularized by the physicist and mathematician Freeman Dyson in 1960, though it builds upon earlier science fiction concepts. Dyson's vision was driven by the assumption that an advanced civilization, which he dubbed a Type II civilization on the Kardashev scale, a system classifying civilizations based on their energy consumption, would require far more energy than what's available from planets or other traditional sources. Such a civilization might, therefore, build a massive structure around its home star to harvest energy directly from the star itself. What is a Dyson Sphere? A Dyson Sphere is typically depicted as a colossal structure or network of structures surrounding a star to capture most or all of its energy output. The core idea is that stars emit an enormous amount of energy, far more than any planet could ever use, and a sufficiently advanced civilization would eventually need to harness the full power of its star to sustain its technological and population growth. There are multiple variations on how a Dyson sphere could be built. Dyson shell, this would be a solid, continuous shell encompassing the star at a certain distance, absorbing most of the star's energy output. While often featured in science fiction, it is widely regarded as impractical due to the enormous material and structural challenges. Dyson Swarm This is considered a more feasible concept, where a vast number of independent satellites or solar collectors orbit the star in a dense formation, each capturing energy and transmitting it wirelessly to collection points. This approach avoids the material stresses of a solid structure. Dyson Bubble similar to the Dyson Swarm but composed of lighter, solar sail-like structures that maintain a stable distance from the star using the pressure of sunlight itself. This would be a more dispersed formation. The purpose of any Dyson sphere is to harness an enormous amount of solar energy, which could then be used to power everything from planetary needs to advanced computing, interstellar travel, or other megascale projects. History of the Dyson Sphere Concept Although Dyson formalized the idea in the 1960s, the concept of megastructures around stars first appeared in science fiction. In Olaf Stapledon's 1937 novel Starmaker, he described advanced civilizations harnessing the power of stars. Dyson later proposed the idea in a more scientific context in his paper, Search for Artificial Stellar Sources of Infrared Radiation. He suggested that if such structures existed, they would be detectable by their infrared radiation signatures, since they would absorb visible light and re-radiate energy as heat. Dyson's proposal was part of the growing interest in the search for extraterrestrial intelligence SETI. He speculated that advanced civilizations, needing enormous amounts of energy, might build such structures, and we could potentially detect them through their infrared emissions. How would a Dyson sphere work? The basic idea behind a Dyson sphere is the collection and conversion of solar energy. Stars radiate immense amounts of energy, our Sun, for instance, emits approximately 3.8 times 10 to the 26 watts. Capturing even a fraction of this energy could power a civilization for millennia. In the case of a Dyson swarm, each solar collector would gather energy and transmit it, possibly via microwave or laser, to receiving stations, either on planets or in space, where it would be stored or used for various applications. The energy could power entire worlds, massive computing systems, or large-scale space exploration efforts. Challenges of energy transmission One of the key challenges would be transferring the energy from space-based collectors to where it's needed, such as a planet or space colony. Wireless energy transmission over long distances is an area of ongoing research. Potential solutions include microwave transmission or laser beams, though both have technical and efficiency limitations. Practical challenges and why it may not be possible. While a Dyson sphere is a compelling idea for energy generation, there are enormous practical and engineering challenges, material limitations, the sheer amount of material required to construct even a Dyson Swarm would be astronomical. To build enough solar collectors to surround a star would require mining entire planets, 
moons, or even asteroids. A solid Dyson shell, meanwhile, would require more matter than likely exists in the entire solar system. Structural integrity. For a Dyson shell, even assuming it could be built, keeping it structurally stable would be a nightmare. The gravitational forces exerted by the star would require the shell to withstand incredible stresses, and any imbalance could lead to catastrophic collapse. A Dyson swarm avoids this issue since it's made of independent units, but the coordination of millions or billions of satellites introduces its own logistical problems. Energy transmission and loss. Even if the energy could be collected, transmitting it back to planets or stations in an efficient manner would be difficult. There would be significant losses in transmission, especially over vast distances, and transmitting too much power in concentrated beams could pose safety risks. Cooling and heat management. The captured energy must be used or stored, and any excess would radiate away as heat. A Dyson sphere would re-emit energy primarily as infrared radiation, which is how such structures could be detected. Managing the waste heat from a system that collects such vast amounts of energy would be an engineering challenge in itself. Interference with star's environment. Any structure close to a star would have to deal with the effects of stellar activity, including solar flares, radiation, and magnetic storms, all of which could damage or disrupt the collectors. Could a Dyson Sphere ever be built? While the concept of a Dyson Sphere is theoretically possible, building one is far beyond our current technological capabilities. However, there are some speculative ideas for how such a project might be undertaken by a highly advanced civilization, automation and self-replicating machines, one of the more feasible approaches would involve creating self-replicating robots or machines that could mine materials and construct solar collectors on their own. Once set in motion, such a system could exponentially increase its construction rate, eventually forming a Dyson swarm over many decades or centuries. Mining other celestial bodies, to gather enough material, an advanced civilization would likely need to mine asteroids, moons, or even entire planets. Some proposals suggest dismantling planets like Mercury, due to its proximity to the Sun and metallic composition, to create solar collectors. Despite the challenges, a Dyson sphere remains one of the most intriguing and extreme possibilities for future energy solutions. Detection of Dyson spheres, a tool for SETI. One of the reasons Dyson proposed the concept was as a means for detecting advanced alien civilizations. A Dyson sphere would block out a star's visible light and re-radiate the energy it captured as infrared radiation. This means that, theoretically, we could search for stars with unusual infrared signatures that don't match what we would expect from a normal star. Dyson sphere detection has become an ongoing area of interest in SETI. If we were to detect an object or system emitting large amounts of infrared radiation but little visible light, it might indicate the presence of a Dyson Sphere. The Dyson Sphere represents one of the most extreme forms of technological speculation, pushing the boundaries of what is possible for energy capture and civilizational advancement. While current human technology is nowhere near capable of building such a structure, the concept provides a fascinating framework for thinking about how far civilizations might go to secure energy resources. It also serves as a tantalizing possibility for discovering advanced extraterrestrial life in the universe.